you know, whenever I teach No No Boy, I make them read it out loud. And they, and they uh, because it's so melodramatic, you know, and, and uh, you need to hear that drama. It has that 1950s tone. It's part, it's part uh, Japanese American community, but it's also very much written from that voice of the 1950s radio shows. No No Boy is very melodramatic. But uh, if you read it out loud, it sounds like a, a radio show. It sounds like those old radio dramas. Uh, or if you read the introduction to No No Boy about Pearl Harbor and all that, and the aftermath of Pearl Harbor, it sounds like Walter Cronkite, the way the phrasing, the melodrama. Uh, Dorothy Okada, uh, you know, we asked, we asked her, you know, John didn't know any other writers. He worked at this book in isolation. What did he do? Where did he learn this from? And she said that he listened to the radio. You know, and it made sense to us when you, when you read the book out loud, you hear that radio voice in his narrative. Those long monologues in, in No No Boy sound just like a, an old radio show, you know, where the hero of the radio show is thinking to themselves, you know, and, you know, like those old detective shows on the radio. <laughs>